welcome to our creative community with Ann and Shirley. I am Shirley Rosenberger. This is Ann Nicholson. Hi, everybody. We are the owners of Appalachian Creativity Center and Project Talent Theater Workshop here in Connellsville, Pennsylvania. And today we have a very special guest that's going to be the first person that we interview for our show. <laughs> the purpose of the show. I'll let you. The purpose of the show is to highlight the amazing people we have in our community and one of the uh, the best and we're glad to call her our friend is Barbara Bailey. So we're going to be interviewing Barbara here right now. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Barbara, um, first of all, tell us a little bit about the artwork that you have on display here at the gallery. Like, what is it about this that is so special? We know because we buy your stuff. <laughs> but what is it that you think is special about it? Well, my art, and I call it the art of imperfection. And if you look at this artwork, notice the edges on all of this. It is torn, and so it's uneven. But that's what I call the art of imperfection. And I also take all kinds of things from nature and press into the clay. This bowl, it has weeds pressed into it. This is elderberries pressed into the clay. I use all kinds of things from nature. and. Um, this, for instance, this face, that is Queen Anne's lace. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> now, Barbara, one of my favorites and is this. And yeah, I believe you said it was cabbage yes. or cabbage <laughs> lace. Yes. So, so there, you could just go right into your kitchen, yes. grab Garden. a head of cabbage. We How can about do lettuce? Garden, Garden season. Celery. 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 You what? know, so for the Who vegetarians knew? out there, <laughs> This is the type of art for you. Yeah. <laughs> but the celery, you laugh about the celery. I take the, when I cut the base of the celery mm -hmm. off and I press it into the mm -hmm. clay, it looks like a rose. Oh, well, yeah, I guess wow. it would, wouldn't it? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, I notice yeah. you also, you make a lot of necklaces, like jewelry yes, pieces yes. and things like mm -hmm. that. Now, I did notice that some of them have Asian symbols on them. What is the inspiration behind that? Um, my basic uh, thought in um, my pottery is the Asian influence. Mm -hmm. And that's when I first started. But I uh, did these, I don't know. There we actually, have some in the front. Yeah, there's some yeah, over there's here. some in the front. Mm -hmm. But I do I'll like the Asian there. influence so much. Yeah. And that's where uh, the Japanese were the art of imperfection. Right now this is called the art of imperfect grabbing of something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it's stuck on. <laughs> there we go. It's on the imperfect edges. Yeah. It's, yes. it's and the these are some of the symbols yes. that and, she has put on them. And there's different meanings. I put tags on them. And then I, mm -hmm. for the symbol, I uh, tell the person mm -hmm. what it means. That's nice. Yeah. I, n I know several people have purchased these personally because they're just, mm -hmm. they're beautiful and they're unique and each one of them is one of a kind. Yeah. Now, um, I know Anne's, one of Anne's favorite things of yours is the buttons. It is. Anne tells the story of, well, I'll let Anne tell the story of when you first came in I for an interview. I remember the day that we met. Okay. And you had come into the store uh, to interview to become an artist for yes. Appalachian. Yes. And you didn't mention to me all these large, beautiful pieces. What you wanted to talk about was the buttons. Yes. And the first thing that you said to me was, I'm famous for my buttons. Yes. And that's the, what I remember most yes. when we talk. So I'd like to talk about the buttons and why they're important to you. So if you would talk about that. Well, each button is formed by hand, totally. And I also take different things and press into the buttons. And I put the button holes in by hand. So each button is, there are no two alike. Mm -hmm. When you're making something totally mm -hmm. by hand, 
you can never duplicate it. And I've done some traveling, and when I was traveling, I would take a bag of buttons with me, and that was my calling card, and I would give buttons mm -hmm. to people. And uh, I love that. I honestly love yeah, that. Yeah. Now, Barbara is multi-talented, and you'll she see is. that uh, aspect uh, of her at, at our next location that we're going to be shooting. But uh, one of the things Barbara does uh, here at the gallery, besides allow us to show her wonderful pieces, uh, she also teaches a Nai-Chin class here. Yes. And she is one I'm of our going teachers. to let you explain that because uh, Anne and I both have gone through this. We and have. It's amazingly accurate. That's all it's I'm going to say. Almost scary accurate, <laughs> yeah. actually. But, we're gonna but let, in our case, yeah. it was very calming. But we're going to let Barbara yeah. explain what that is because this is another talent that she has. Well, this goes back for me 20 some years. And when I was first introduced to <laughs> the I Ching. But I've always <laughs> had this fascination with Chinese mm -hmm. and Oriental things. So it just spoke to me. So I've studied it for over 20 years, and I've done it with a lot of different people. Um, the I Ching goes back, they think, possibly 5,000 years. Wow. And uh, sometime, if anybody is interested, they can come to uh, the Appalachia Creativity mm -hmm. Center, and I will do the mm -hmm. I Ching with mm -hmm. them. We do those classes about once a month. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it is a free class that Barbara does um, with the option of donation. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Right. Now, Barbara, um, me and Ann have been working with you for uh, one pottery. We're actually yes. learning how to do pottery mm -hmm. from Barbara yes. Bailey. It's one of the mm -hmm. things I've been wanting to do forever. Mm -hmm. And so Barbara's been uh, teaching us. And uh, mm -hmm. we're actually working on round, more rounded pots, mm -hmm. uh, different than anything you see here. Mm -hmm. Now, my question is, is the process for doing these pots, because ours, you have the coil and it keeps building up on mm -hmm. each other. How do you go about making something like, like that? Okay, uh, making pots with a coil method is one aspect of pottery. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that I mm -hmm. do is slab, the slab method. And all of these things here in front of us are all done with the slab method. So we haven't learned that part yeah, yet. Yeah, we're, no. still, we're, still, <laughs> we're still, that's, our, that's our, yeah, that's coming up. Yes. I'm very yeah. excited about that. So, so with the slab, you, you put the clay in and you roll it mm -hmm. out? Well, when I first began 20 some years ago, I used a rolling pin. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. it's very labor intensive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and a couple years ago, I was able to purchase a slab roller. Mm -hmm. And it's taken a lot of the work out of mm -hmm. it. But when I teach these two, mm -hmm. I'm going to have them do it with a rolling pin. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay, okay. That may become a weapon then, you know? <laughs> I have to say, I have to say, I know that when you talked earlier, you described the nature in this yes. as weeds. This is the yes. most beautiful weeds I have ever seen. I really have, because well, I love this design, I, I, I don't and know. I would have never I, thought about that I think I'm going to have to argue with you. I think these are the most beautiful things <laughs> over here, so I'm going to have to argue with you on this. That's a right. uh, foxtail. Okay, then it's not a weed? Well, it's a weed. Okay, well, then it's still <laughs> the most beautiful weed right. that I have ever I seen. I think we're going to get ready, and we're going to be going to Barbara's studio, yes. mm -hmm. and so part two is coming up soon. Mm-hmm. Okay, I do all my paint pouring on these boards that I get at Stones Temp Company, mm -hmm. and they're just perfect for what I do. Okay, now let's get started. Now, Barbara, if somebody wanted to buy one of these boards, about how much would this these boards cost? Well, the boards I buy, it's one board and it's an eight by six. Uh huh. And then I have them cut into this. Uh huh. And then also. My son comes and he cuts these into the smaller size. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. Because these paintings uh -huh. 
a, the smaller ones are 12 by 12s, mm -hmm. and then there's mm -hmm. some bigger ones. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a bigger one today. I feel like I'm in a bigger shop. <laughs> yeah, so. what? Awesome. Cake boss, here I come. <laughs> <laughs> Look out. <laughs> It kind of looks like she is making a cake, actually, yeah. doesn't it? This is a, a cake decorator. Yeah, <laughs> she's got like a... Okay, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Okay. Huh. This is not what I thought. And all. you don't have to leave any of these paints dry while you're doing this process, no. is that correct? One layer or the other? You want cool. them to be flowing. You don't let them dry. And the whole background has to be covered on this board before you start on another well, color, there, or it's just that you want white as the background. This is the background. But each piece that I do, if you look at the different pieces of pot or mm -hmm. uh, paintings, uh -huh. they're all different, and uh -huh. I use different techniques. Uh -huh. This is one technique. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 no measuring involved. No, no measuring. I love that. Yes. Okay. It's, very, it's like us. It's very come as you are. I think. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Tough. You know, that's, that's, that's one of the things. Um, one of the reasons that we really enjoy being around Barbara and everything is when we started our art, art gallery, we wanted to be a very laid back, Invite. inviting facility for anybody who came in. And, uh, and, and like Barbara's that? exactly the type of person that we have coming into the gallery mm -hmm. quite frequently. She's not only an artist and a friend, but she's also a supporter. supported other artists in the gallery. She's purchased some of their works in the, in oh, the gallery. Um, and uh, so, so this is the kind of thing that we really enjoy doing. Uh, where you just kind of be yourself messy, and be creative. It's really not. No, it I isn't. And you know what I like I, is the these these markings. The grooves. In them. Now, do they yeah. stay like that, or do you, as as uh, you're making it, or can you make it's them gonna like probably, that? It's going to probably. It's going to change you can, as you it goes. You can make textures. Yeah. Wow. But this is what we're going to do. Okay. You can tell how excited I get. <laughs> <laughs> She's a wild woman now. She's excited. Okay, now okay. there's something else we use. Okay, okay. is it something like an India or is it? Okay, what this it? is silicone. Okay. Silicone. Yeah, and this creates. Okay, there's some of these. You'll see cells in the paintings. Uh huh. Now, does that get mixed again? No. Oh, so it just flows out and, oh, this is cool. Okay. Huh. Now, where do you get the silicone at? Walmart. Walmart, okay. <laughs> of course. Okay. 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 Now, what is that? This is the fun part. What is that? Is that a colander? It looks like it. Oh. It's art. Great it's save. It's okay. <laughs> and no one will even notice on the tablecloth. Right. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I think I want to move back. <laughs> it's really I'm going to clear these out for her so she's ready to go for the next color then. Okay. I'm just going to go back here. I'm brave. <laughs> I always wanted to turn this shirt into a tie-dye shirt, so <laughs> it fits more with my personality. I love the green on there. I'll it looks really you cool. Get me some water in that bucket. I need it. Dude. Where's your bucket? Oh, I got gotcha. you. Here, here. The bucket. Oh. I do like the way that looks. Wait till you see. You're going to be amazed at what you see. Now, do you have to rinse that out every time? Or? Yes, yes. Huh? You need the rest of this? or Okay. I'm going to set your stuff that you're done with over here. I feel like Barbara's a sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, this is uh, this has become really popular in recent years, though. Yes, yes. Um, I don't really know what got it started, but you started seeing all kinds of pictures on Here, Pinterest and Facebook and and even You're Twitter welcome. and things like that. And now it seems like it's. How did it's I really already calm. get it on me, and well, I didn't Jackson even touch it? Pollock. 
<laughs> but it goes with white. <laughs> it, it blends. I don't understand. Just that little Why red is it and little me? blue. Why is <laughs> She was a messy baby, too. <laughs> Why? I <laughs> Paper towel. Yep. There you go. I'm going to leave you this over here for you. I, I, good idea. <laughs> okay, now. Don't pick up the colored paper towel. I'm not. We're, we're putting the, the paint on here. Uh -huh. Once the paint is all uh -huh. on here, then wait till you see what happens. Okay. That's what's She scary. keeps us on the edge. I just love the colors that you've chosen. They're really different. They're beautiful. They're spring colors. I don't know. I'm kind of liking this pink for my vase. Well, we while, while you're doing that, I'm, I want to um, tell, talk a little, I love the lines. Um, Barbara um, has some of her artwork uh, on display at O'Donnell's Pub in on Arch Street here in Connellsville. Great food. Great food. And um, just recently we finished a couple murals f for the uh, Connellsville Area Career and Technical Center. We did. And while we were up there, we actually invited Miss. Bailey to and uh, come with us for the uh, ribbon Green. cutting mm -hmm. and while we were up there um, she's actually going to now have some of her work displayed in the culinary cafeteria which is open to the public so she's going to be uh, displaying some of her work up there hopefully yeah. uh, before she the said new it school needed year. a splash of color so. yes <laughs> Uh, Miss Barbara, do you have, oh, you mind if I pick up your hubcap? Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is actually cool. This is a funny story, and I'm going to let Barbara tell the story while she's doing that, if you don't. Barbara, how did you end up with this hubcap? Oh. <laughs> I was on Crawford Avenue. <laughs> That's where it all starts. I was on Crawford um, Avenue. And there was this hubcap up against uh -huh. a tree. And I kept looking at that every time I drove past it. And nobody took it. <laughs> so one day I stopped and picked it up. Because you can create out of anything. <laughs> and that's what I did with it. So this is port art as well. We can is that correct? Wow. Yes. Now the I gold in this, is that just a gold paint or yeah, that's gold just paint. gold paint? Well, so Barbara's actually thinking about possibly putting some of these up at the Connorsville Career Tech. Is that correct? Yes. So she's actually, anybody who has hubcaps that look like this would be interested in donating to Barbara. Uh, I think she, she would be up. very happy about it. It has to be the plastic. It has to be plastic. These are the ones that, like, they're actually bendable. Yes. So if, if anybody would be interested, you could drop them off at the gallery. Mm -hmm. We will make sure. Oh, I'd love to have them. We will make sure Barbara yeah. gets them. <laughs> yeah, I would love to have them. That way she's not crossing the road to stop and pick yeah. them up. That would be yeah. much safer. Yeah, because we know what that's like, keep collecting coconuts alongside the road. <laughs> Don't ask. Yeah. Ask Dayton about that. Yeah. My poor son. Uh, this is looking very, very interesting. Well, wait till you see what... There she goes again. She leaves you I know. You edge. keep teasing us. You know what? I really... Uh, the colors is, the I colors think, what's are beautiful. Amazing. You know what I, I think I need uh -huh. on this? What? Flip-flops. Some black. Some black. Yeah. Okay. So you can see how much fun this is. <laughs> it's fun. Well, you know what I'm wondering if, like, you can add, like, if I don't know, like, if you had, like, some sort of a stamp or something yes. that you could, like, put in it. Because we yes. have all of those, um, you know, the stampers oh, that go yeah, that we don't us. use. We have a bunch of, like, the, the you know, the, the they're like stamps. a roller stamp. Yes, yes. We have tons of those, too. Oh, yeah, can, for scrapbooking. Yeah, for scrapbooking, oh, but yeah. we don't use them because we don't. You I'll know. tell you that what those would be good for is the clay work, the slab work. Okay, oh, well, yeah. just let them stop. We'll, we'll bring them okay, over. Okay, you bring them up. <laughs> okay, now is the fun part. I'm afraid. What are you uh -uh. doing? Wait, you're moving it? What are you doing, you wild woman? Oh wait, <laughs> she's ah. Uh, <okay. laughs> you 
this oh, reminds me. Because you know now it's look is completely different. Yeah. But you know what? This is reminding me it, of that. Um, it went from very light and whimsical to something yeah. very different. You know what now. reminds me of? You know the people who do the uh, crayon art, where they yes, put the crayon where on, they, they heat it, and heat it and drips them and down. it melts. That's what it kind of, kind of reminds me of. Except oh. it's just paint. Wow. That is not what I thought at all, where it was going to end up the, What does the silicone do exactly? It makes it shiny. Yeah, it looks, well, look at it. It's like see. thick, it like glossy. Nice look how thick and glossy. I'll show you what the silicone does. This is not what I thought at all. Like, I thought it was going to be very whimsical, but this, the lines have changed so much. It's almost like... Vincent Van Goghish type with the Starry Night and the yeah, you know what I mean. Wow. You have to know when to stop. Or that would be a big mess. Yes. And that would probably be the artist's decision <laughs> on when to start, right? Right. Cause she's ready for the look she likes. I like this purple and black at the bottom. Like, well, it's now the, the whole top. thing's interesting. Yeah, this is. I think this is more like an aerobic activity too. I think so. This, this is, is like a workout. Shape. <laughs> because that's okay. that's a heavy piece of wood. That's not like oh, look light. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. It's weird. It almost looks like there's like geometric patterns. How did they within? Okay, now. Okay. Uh, okay, it always works. Are you looking for these? No. Towel. Towel. Okay. I'm afraid to ask what what okay now means. <laughs> Uh oh, she's pulling what out. What is that? Uh oh. <laughs> we'll stand back now. I think I'm going to stand back because I'm not sure where this is going to go. Huh. She's got heat. And what does that do exactly besides it, dry it? Okay, that silicone that uh -huh. we use, that's going to bring up cells. You'll see. Wow. Does that get hot, like where yes. you're touching it? It's, uh, yes, that's a blue flame. It's, this is a chef's torch. Huh. And each, you can never duplicate a piece. Yeah. I just uh, I think it's interesting. It's almost kind of like a maze like, but it does remind me of like a starry night with all the how well, the everything was meshy and you dreamy. See their cells yeah. coming up. Oh, that's cool. All right. These cells aren't going to show that much on this because there's so many colors. Now, where do you get the little miniatures at? Walmart. Walmart. Okay. Here, I know, like I tight. know these you can get at the Dollar, Dollar Tree sells these as well. And they also sell these th in this size, but like that, three for a dollar. Yeah. So, uh, the, so the, 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 just in case you're interested in possibly doing this, um, again, it's another thing that if you're looking for something to give, you know, increase your focus and everything, this mm -hmm. will be a perfect opportunity. Okay. And they're not real expensive. No, so they're this not. Is something that's this feasible. is something you could do. It's fun. And honestly, I think this would be great if you're looking for something to do with your children. Um, you know, Center on a project. rainy day, you, you know. You would have to really supervise because this can yeah. really get messy. And we are not responsible for messes at home. Yeah. <laughs> I know we said that once, but I think that's very important. <laughs> <laughs> Worried, Anne? A little bit, yeah. Ooh, and you know, know. another thing I really uh, love that, uh, that um, I want to emphasize, you know, for people who have like an empty space down in their basement, Barbara has taken her basement and literally turned it into her studio. Yeah. So, you know, that's if you're inspired, looking for, yeah, that's inspired us we're actually lot. turning our basement into a studio area as well. So we if you're looking for some place, you know, that you can go down and be creative and everything and you have that space in the in the basement, it's actually and a perfect area. most of us area. don't use our basements, no. really. It's a wasted space. Yeah. This is a way to really utilize that. And with us, though, while we're doing washing and drying and things like that, uh, we're actually just going to take advantage and, and, and use the space then to create art. Right. 
I think Barbara just likes those like colors. Those colors remind me of the 1980s. <laughs> why? <laughs> they do. That's like the hot pinks. Those, and I think of jelly shoes. I don't know why. <laughs> and Cindy Lauper. <laughs> I had a pair of jelly shoes. I loved them. <laughs> <laughs> See? Okay, oh, I, I admit, I've never had a pair of jelly shoes. Oh, you're missing out. We had jelly bracelets. You had yeah, the jelly shoes. Yeah, I had sneakers, uh, you know, that, and uh, that flip flops. That does not surprise me. Yeah, okay. not at all. Now, what I'll do is just let this dry. You can put it on now, top of here. Okay, cells are coming up on this. Cells. Mm -hmm. See these little... Oh, I see. Yeah. They're popping. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that is so cool. Yeah, I think you should put it there. That's a good yeah. idea. So, okay. All right, so, I think yeah. we're just about done yeah. here. Yeah. You are so awesome. Yeah. Um, I think the one thing, although Barbara has taught us a lot today, is that you can never have or know too much art mm -hmm. or techniques right. Right. or mediums because she does so much. Yeah. 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 And she's willing to learn because it's something she recently learned and she's teaching us. So. Yeah, my, um, my parents always told me, uh, you know, always learn as much as you can because yeah. you never know what you're going to need to survive. True. True. And Bar Barbara's like the perfect example of this. Barbara has, if there's something that interests her, she just jumps right into it. I feel right like I've done it. it, and I'm not. You look like you've done <laughs> it. I really feel um. like, look at this. Like, how did I get it all over me? I don't know. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, Barbara. Thank you, thank we appreciate you, you know, taking so your time much. today. And, uh, Hopefully, we'll see you uh, again soon, uh, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, each week, uh, each uh, each segment that we do is going to be either about an artist, an event that is art-related, or we may even uh, focus on a project that's going on in the area uh, or our community. Or our community um, that can, you know, just show you how valuable the arts are to our creative community. Mm -hmm. So thank you for joining us. See you soon.